Hi, uh, welcome to today's video, which is about cooling the power supply on a Prusa box enclosure for the Prusa Mark III. One reason why I didn't originally get a Prusa box when they first came out was my concern over the overheating of the power supply. Now, there is a hole, or well, large hole, in, in the base of the stainless steel, uh, which uh, is where the louvers of the Prusa power supply are directed towards so they're pointed underneath and you've got the, loo the, the side louvers here as well. Uh, but if you're printing something like um, ABS the enclosure is going to get extremely hot, the metal casing will get uh, very hot as well and I didn't really think that just passive air cooling would be enough especially with the louvers pointed to the base, uh, hot air rises so when when the power supply was upright there's a lot of space for the for the air, hot air to get out through the louvers but if it's pointed down i wasn't so sure so i've just come up with a, a little i suppose you call it a, a bracket a mounting bracket for uh two 30 millimeter fans so let's have a quick look at those so the brackets here 30 millimeter fans um it's got a couple of little uh, stays on, on either end just to stop it going too close to the wall so you're still venting some air out. And also I've redesigned the uh, butt converter holder. Uh, so I've got a switch here so I can turn the fans on and off manually if I need to. The bracket comes off, it's just mounted with three bolts and you can see I've undone them and I'm going to just carefully prise it open and you can see that I've got the wires from the fans coming through a cutout all the way along and then they go into the butt converter holder uh, and then they can be wired up as you wish. So, apart from having the switch, which I believe uh, by default uh, was uh, the hole for the um, the variable speed controller for the extractor fan, so I filled that up and put a switch hole instead there. Uh, and obviously a small hole I've put in for cables. Now regarding fans, you can I've got them wired up. So each fan has cables, positive and negative. So I've got four cables running through here. Hopefully you can see that reasonably well. I'm going to that point there. Uh, you could wire them in series if you wanted rather than uh, parallel. Uh, in which case you'd only get half the power out of them. These happen to be uh, 12 volt. Uh, 30 millimeter fans. Uh, so if I wired them in uh, series, then you they'd end up only having basically six volts each, roughly. Um, so you just get them at half power. So it's up to you how you want to wire them up. You could equally use um, five volt fans, a couple of five volt fans. Uh, I've just used three millimeter um, Allen head bolts uh, with nuts going to the back, so nice and easy to mount. I will in I'm going to include the STL file in the description below, so please open the description below uh, if you'd like to try this out. Uh, I'm also going to include the STL for the revised bottom of the butt converter case. Uh, should you wish to uh, add that in as well. So the other overall idea with this is that it will suck air through. I've actually, rather than pushing air in, I'm sucking air out. Again, it's entirely up to you which way around you have the fans. You can decide to push air through so it comes out the bottom. I've got it sucking air out, so it's pulling air from the underneath 
into the power supply unit and ejecting it out the back. Uh, that does give uh, a, a little bit of air movement in my opinion. As far as wiring it into the Prusa box, you, you've got a choice. You, if it's a 12 volt uh, fan layout that you've got, you could wire it onto the 12 volt terminals of the butt converter. If it's 5 volt fan shoot, there are two uh, 5 volt uh, terminals on the butt converter end that you could um, wire it into there. And just use the on off switch when you want. If you want to automate it a bit more, which I have done, uh, you can you can wire it into a relay. So I've got the negative going onto the negative terminal of the 12 volt side of the butt converter. The positive lead goes to a relay, uh, the common part of the relay, and then the normally open part of uh, the relay terminal. And then from there to the positive side of the butt converter on the on the 12 volt end so that when the relay is engaged it closes the circuit starts the fans and that that relay is controlled by octoprint and i will be showing you that in another video so there we go uh, a, a relatively quick way of getting some air movement through your power supply if you're printing just pla you're not going to need it because it's only going to be around 30 degrees and that, that'll be fine for the, for the power supply but if perhaps if you're doing a lot of PETG or certainly uh, ABS ASA you're going to get quite hot temperatures it's not great for the power supply they're not designed to run in like 40 50 degrees of temperature so uh, that's the sort of temperatures that the casing's going to get so having uh, a fan just assisting with the airflow I think was a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you like this video uh, please do a, a like and subscribe that would be really appreciated and I've got a couple more short videos coming up shortly. Thank you very much.